Adrian, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm here to bring you my March TBR. I know, we're almost halfway through March, but that's just how I'm rolling this month. Anyway, let's just jump right into it. The first book that I plan on reading, in fact I have finished already in the month of March, is Winter by Marissa Meyer. This is the last and final book of the Lunar Chronicles. The Lunar Chronicles, for those of you who don't know, are four fairy tale retellings that all kind of combine into one story. The first one is called Cinder, which is a retelling of Cinderella, and then we have Scarlet, which is a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood, Crest, which is a retelling of Rapunzel, and Winter, which is a retelling of Snow White. Each of these books kind of follows a different fairy tale retelling, but they all kind of mix them together to become one. This one was the epic finale, which is why it's 800 and some odd pages long. I started this in February, got about 450-500 pages through, and then finished it pretty much the first couple days of March, because I really needed to know how the book ended. I think I read the last 200 pages or so in like an afternoon, because it was really good. For more of my thoughts and feels about this book, stay tuned for my March wrap-up. Next up is a book that I wanted to read in February but didn't get around to it, and that was Alex and Eliza by Melissa de la Cruz. I am uh, two-thirds of the way through. I started this right at the beginning of the month, and it's taking me forever to get through. It is slow. It is sort of boring. Obviously, I'm not enjoying this one, but I am going to finish it. I picked it up because I thought, oh, like, super huge fonts, tiny little pages, I can read this book in two days. But guys, I've been working on this for like almost ten days now and I'm only two thirds of the way through. Not a big fan. Next up is a book that I listened to and already finished on audio. Again, I'm not going to talk about it now. Uh, I'll save it for my wrap up. But it is allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson. This one follows a girl named Mary. And Mary was arrested and convicted of murder when she was nine years old. She allegedly murdered a three-month-old baby. And so through this book, we're trying, we're following Mary once she was released from prison when she was 16 years old and how she's dealing with all the consequences of this. And you're also trying to piece together what exactly happened. Did she actually kill this three month old baby or didn't she? I really enjoyed this book. I Like I said, I listened to it in a day. There were little bits that I kind of still don't know if I quite understand, but I'll talk about that in my wrap up as well. Next up is another book that I'm currently in the middle of. This is what happens when you film your TBRs halfway through the month nearly. And that is Let's Pretend That Never Happened by Jenny Lawson. I will say I started a new audiobook subscription called Scribed. I will leave a link to their website down below. It is $8.99 a month, which is really cheap. And unlike Audible, where you can only get one book, you can listen to as many audiobooks as you want. And for a blender like me, English audiobooks, because I have an audiobook subscription that's only Dutch, that's free because I'm visually impaired, but English audiobooks, and guys, they're actually acted. They're, I've been introduced to the world of audiobooks and I can't stop listening to them. So I'm in the middle of this one, and it's actually read by Jenny Lawson, which is like totally phenomenal. I think I'm about a quarter of the way through or a third of the way through. And I'm really loving it. It is sort of like a memoir, another memoir of Jenny Lawson. I read Furiously Happy by her, which deals with mental health. This one is more like childhood crazy stories, and some of these stories are crazy, and I can't stop laughing. I, I love this book. I already wanted to buy this book because I had the last one and I really enjoyed it, but when I saw this one and it's read by Jenny Lawson, how could I say no? Because it's just, it's great. The next book that I plan on reading in the month of March is Wires and Nerve by Marissa Meyer. I got this last year for Mother's Day for my husband. This is a graphic novel that follows the android Eco, and she's my favorite character in this story. One of my favorite characters anyway, if not my favorite character. So I am really excited. I've never read a graphic novel. I don't know how this is gonna go because I don't see well these little, these little graphic novel things they're really small to be able to read, and I don't know if I can. I mean, I can, but I don't know if I can read them a lot, or if it'll give me a headache, or if I can understand the story. I don't know. We're gonna see how it goes. I got, like I said, I got this from Mother's Day, and I've really wanted to read it, but I needed to finish the Lunar Chronicle series first. So now that I have, I'm rewarding myself with reading Wires and Nerve. And I just found out that the next book came out recently, so I'm very excited. Next up is a book that I'm doing as a buddy read. I'm very excited. I haven't done a buddy read in a while, and I'm reading this one with Megan from Rogers Reads. I'll leave a link to her channel down below, and that is Small Great Things by Judy Pickle. I have had this book for quite some time now. I've wanted to read it for quite some time now. It's a long book. 
but I do love Jodi Picoult books. They are quite predictable when you've read a lot of her books, but I don't mind. She deals with very relevant topics and they always make you think. This one particularly follows a black nurse who is assigned to a white couple that have a baby and the white couple do not wish to have a black nurse, so they send her away. At some point, the black nurse is returned to the baby for some reason. I'm not really sure how because I haven't read the book yet, obviously. But the baby dies in the black woman's presence and so it's this whole lawsuit and this whole discrimination thing. It's a really important topic, much like The Hate You Give, so I'm curious to see how that holds up in comparison to The Hate You Give, though I have not yet read that one either. I'm supposed to read it in February. Long story. Anyway, I'm really excited to read this one. I love Jodi P. Colt books. It's been on my TBR for a while and I get to buddy read it with Megan, so yay! And then we have another buddy read that I'm not entirely sure is actually going to happen this month because I haven't been able to contact the person that I'm supposed to be reading this one with, but that's Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rosh. This is another one that I've had on my TBR for quite a while and I need to start the series. I just haven't been for some reason or other. I did read the first chapter of this for a try chapter tag that I did in the summertime and I enjoyed the first chapter, so I will enjoy the book. I just need to get myself to pick it up. And since I finished a series, I'm gonna start up a new one because um, that's just what I do. I'm very excited to read this one. Hopefully I get to buddy read it. If we can't buddy read it in March, I might save it for April. I have a lot of my TBR as it is already, so we'll see how it goes. But I would like to start the series really soon, hopefully this month. Those are all the books that I plan on reading slash or have already read in the month of March. Let me know in the comments below what books you plan on reading this month. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have not yet, I'd love for you to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!